Welcome back to Ali's Bespoke Design Service. In this video, I'm going to show you how to construct all of the pattern pieces that we've previously cut out and created in part one and in part two. The first thing I'm doing is creating a continuous long strip, which will be used for my piping. Once you've completed the extremely long um, bias binding strip, you can then start attaching it to the piping. Doing this, I would recommend you change your normal foot to a zipper foot because it's actually easier to work with. And you need to get in as close to that piping as physically possible, otherwise it'll end up looking really baggy when you construct your cushion. I've overlocked all of the edges. I'm just checking for fit now. Uh, looks like it's going to fit perfect and I can start actually joining in the zip and the sides, the piping, etc. The next stage is to actually put the zip in. I've purchased a long continuous zip and I'm just going to cut it to the length that I want it. Make sure that you put a pin in either end. Uh, otherwise the zipper will just come straight off. I've positioned the zip upside down on one side and then when it flips over, it will look like that. With the other side of the zip, you have to make sure that this is folded over and then you pin your zip in this way. I'm gonna get in really close to the teeth there. So I'm just double checking before I start sewing that this section is going to be the same measurement because they're going to be stitched together afterwards. The zip's in, now I've stitched this panel onto it on both sides. I did check it for fit first. Just checking it for fit again. I think it could do with being a little bit more snug. So I'm just going to take about half a centimetre off that side as well as that side just to make it a little bit tighter. I'm now going to add the pipe in. When you start off, you need to put it slightly over the edge and then you just bring it in, line it up uh, so that the pipe in's going on the inside, go all the way around, stitch it in place and I'm going to also do the same to the other side as well. Pipe in on all the way around, make sure that it's nice and tight, really close to the edge. And then just double check for fit again, that it's going to be fitting on your cushion properly. And that looks like it's going to be a really lovely snug fit. Then I'm going to do the other side and then I will stitch on the side. So both sides have been attached now. So I'm going to put it onto the foam and hopefully touch wood, it fits perfect. All the cushions are now beautifully finished. Please, please, please subscribe. And if you want any more information, please message me.